Hi, welcome back again. Um, today we're going to look at the yellow snake. Again, I'm playing in C, G, C, G, C, D. It's only got three chords, but I think it sounds far more effective playing in open tuning because you get that, that resonant sound that you won't get on the standard tuning. So it starts off with just playing the C chord, which is finger on the second fret. And then the little run, you can play in two ways. One is put your finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string, slide it down to two and pull it off so it goes. For, I think to play it up on the fifth string, you start on the nine and just slide it all the way so you've got that pull off sound. It's just like a big slur. So it goes. Then, if you want to follow the melody line high up, which I think sounds nice. Um, I'll show you another way afterwards, but start on the fifth fret and it's so that's five to seven to nine and nine ten ten seven seven so that's It's just a simple alternating bass between the two open C's on the sixth and fourth string. So second line moves is it based on the G chord and you have to go up to the seventh fret. So you're fretting on fret seven and you put your top on the top string a finger on the ninth fret. So that's your G chord. Lift the finger off, put it back on. That's nine, ten, nine, seven, five. It goes cradle. So that's two to three. Cradle. Then the G chord, which it looks like an A seventh chord, with your fingers on the fourth and second strings on the second fret. And play the top string and catch the second fret and then open chord of C. So, so far it's gone. line is his dreams. So that's five, five, three, two. Then up, slide finger up to here on the ninth fret with your top string on the tenth fret. That's A minor. Then back to the second fret, slide it up to five. Four, that line again. His dreams are so right. Next line starts similarly. Yeah. Back again. Up to the A minor. So what you're doing there is you've got your A minor, play the 
ten from the wolf. Going back to G. This G is fifth fret on the first string, second fret on the second string, string, and the open G and the lower open G. So with my pick, I'm playing the lower G and three fingers to pick this top chord. And then. Uh, A minor, the G, which is the seventh fret. So that's two, five, zero. So two, five, two, zero. So, quickly through the whole part. And this is my take on the solo. So you put your fingers on frets 12 and 11 on the top two strings to so play it twice with a bass note, then bass note, then just move them up so it's 14 and 12. go back to 9 and 10 on the 2nd and 3rd strings, then 9 and 10, 9 and 10 and just come up to the 12th fret and play with the open top string. So that's that. Um, the last part of the other snake chords is just repeated. The, yeah. If you don't want the plates quite so high and just have it close to the singing voice, you probably do it down here like so that's open G string this is the third string we're playing then go on to two that's on to four five four two two four and five so to play again open two G, which in this case we're going to play fourth note, fourth fret on the third string, second on the second fret on the fourth string, and the and the fifth string's open. Just drop it back to the two, put it back on again. Do it like a little mordant, then pull off. Five. 
then just to slide A minor to G so that's now 4 0 4 2 0 4 open G 5 4 0 so it's, next is open G open G 5 4 A minor up to 7, come back down to the A minor, and then to G, so that's 0, 2, 0, and 2 zeros, 5, 4, A minor, it's your 5, 4, 2, back to G. So there's two ways of playing it. Um, great song, hope you enjoy it. Hi, I, um, I hope today's video has been helpful and informative and that you can use the ideas in your playing. If you have any questions or feedback, then please write a comment below. And if you'd be so kind as to like or subscribe, that would be absolutely perfect. Till next time, bye for now, thanks.